Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dej and today we're gonna create this carved text effect in Photoshop. Find the high resolution wooden texture that you like, I've downloaded this one from the link in the description, and open it in Photoshop. Activate the horizontal type tool, and click this square to set the text color to something not too light but not too dark. Hit OK, and then type anything you want. You can also work with vector shapes instead of text, but if you use text, make sure the letters are bold enough and that the font size is big enough because we're gonna add some effects to it. So I'm gonna increase the font size to around 300 points. With the move tool, you can align the text to the background. In the layers panel, with the type layer still activated, decrease the fill value all the way to 0%. Not the opacity, but the fill. Now click this button to add the layer style and choose bevel and emboss. Set the style to outer bevel and the technique to chisel hard. Increase the depth to around 500% but keep in mind that the font size I'm using is 300 points. If your font size is different, you may need to experiment with these values here. Set the direction to down, set the size to 20 pixels, 0 pixels for softening, check used global light and use this circle or these values to change the angle as you want. Set the gloss contour to linear. Click on this square to choose a light color from the texture. Hit OK. Set the blend mode to screen. Click on this square to sample a dark color from the texture. Hit OK. And set the blend mode to multiply. After that, you can experiment with the opacities of both the highlights and the shadows. For me, the values of 60 and 80% work just fine. Hit OK, and let's duplicate the type layer using Ctrl or Command J. Activate the new layer, set the fill value to around 70%, and change the blend mode to multiply. Now, double click on Bevel and Emboss, set the style to Inner Bevel, decrease the size to around 5 pixels, and before you hit OK, Change the direction from down to up and then hit OK. And just like that, we've created a nice effect of a text engraved in wood. As I said earlier, you can use the same technique to apply this effect on vector shapes, like this one. If you want to know how to use shapes in Photoshop, then go ahead and watch my video about the shape tools. If you don't, well, that's your problem, isn't it? Uh, actually, isn't uh... it?